Okay, so we may have these examples done already, but I'm going to go ahead and do them again on the flippable. Jamie has a patio outside her kitchen door in the shape of a right triangle. Each of the short sides measure eight and five tenths feet. If Jamie wants to increase the size of her patio to the where these sides are one and one fourth as long, what will the new dimensions be? Okay, so I know it's a, a right triangle. Okay, each of these short sides measure eight and five tenths feet. Okay, and those are the short sides. And I'm, it's a right triangle, okay? And she wants to increase the size of her patio to where the sides are one fourth as long, one and one fourth as long. What will, and I'm going to underline this, the new dimensions be, okay? Okay. So going to have and this is just a sketch a right triangle okay and this is eight and five tenths eight and five tenths and i want to enlarge it okay by a square foot of one in one fourth okay now I have a decimal here and a fraction here Oops, sorry about that guys give you a second to catch up okay I have a fraction here and a decimal here I'm gonna go ahead and turn that fraction into a decimal okay okay so I'm going to take this 8 and 5 tenths, and I'm going to multiply it by 1 and 25 hundredths, okay? Now this is two decimal places, so I'm going to put a 2, okay? And this is one decimal place, and now I'm going to do my math. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6. Okay. 8 times 5 is 40. I have my placeholder here, okay, because I'm working from the tens place. Or I guess this is the ones place since I have a decimal there. 8 times 2 is 16, plus 4 is 20. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 2 is 10. Now I'm going to add it together. Five. Two, six, zero, one. I need to move my decimal places three spots over. So one, two, three. And my answer is going to be 10 and 625 thousandths. Okay. So I'm going to enlarge, make it longer. Okay. And 10.625. Okay.